In this video, I'm going to simplify moisture content, dry basis and wet basis. How are you doing today? This is the voice of Adib Irshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials for the students of food science and technology. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Simply speaking, moisture content is the amount of water in a moist sample. But what does moisture content has to do with food technology? What is the significance of this topic? Well, moisture content is an important property of food which is directly related to the quality and shelf life of the food. The relationship between moisture content and shelf life is given as moisture content is inversely proportional to the shelf life. Now that means higher the moisture content, lower will be the shelf life or lower the moisture content, higher will be the shelf life. Let us take an example and, un and understand this relationship more clearly. For example, if the milk is present, now all, all of us know that the milk has higher amount of moisture. It has about 90% of water content or moisture content in it. And obviously milk has shelf life, very small, very low shelf life. But if we take the example of spices or jam, the amount of water or the amount of moisture content in the spices or gem is comparatively very very less and that is why they have higher amount of shelf life. I hope this relationship is clear to you. Not only that, moisture content has influence on some unit operations such as drying. When we are drying a food product having high amount of moisture, it will take higher amount of energy and time. Whereas, Drying a food product having lower amount of moisture will take lesser amount of time and energy. And that is why moisture content is an important property or attribute to be studied under food technology. Now moisture content can be expressed either in terms of wet basis or in terms of dry basis. Now let us try to define wet basis and dry basis one by one. Now wet basis is the amount of water per unit mass of moist sample. Let me show you the formula so that you understand more clearly. Now we denote wet basis moisture content by MC subscript WB equal to mass of water in the sample divided by total mass of sample. We can also write this formula as mass of water in sample divided by mass of water plus mass of dry solids. Now we can rewrite this formula in shorter form given as mc subscript wb equal to mw divided by mw plus md. Now please note that mw here is the mass of water in the sample whereas md is equal to mass of dry solids. Now let us have a look on dry basis. The dry basis moisture content is the amount of water per unit mass of dry solids present in the sample. Let us take the formula and understand this more clearly. Moisture content dry basis equal to mass of water in the sample divided by mass of dry solids in the sample. And we can rewrite this formula given as MC subscript WB equal to MW divided by MD. Now again MW here stands for mass of water in the sample whereas MD stands for mass of dry solids in the sample. Now before you go on and try to solve the examples of dry basis and wet basis moisture content, you have to keep in mind some of the important points and some of the important notes so that you can understand the problems easily so that you can solve the problems very fast. So the first point that you have to keep in mind is that the, for the same set of values, the moisture content of dry basis is always greater than moisture content of wet basis. Let me take an example and demonstrate this, uh, demonstrate this note to you. For example, the wet, the amount of water is 30 kg and the amount of dry solids is 70 kg. The total weight of the sample is definitely 100 kg. Now going by the formula, the dry basis is equal to the amount of water divided by the amount of dry solids. And if we keep those values, if we put those values in this formula, we get 30 divided by 70. And that is further divided and uh, what is the answer? The answer is 42.8%. And if we calculate wet basis moisture content for the same set of values, so we will put 
mass of water divided by mass of water plus mass of dry solids that is the formula of wet basis and if we put the values the mw is 30 and mw again is 30 plus md md here is 70 so we calculate this difficult calculation scientific calculation and we finally get 30 percent so you can see here clearly you can observe here clearly for the same set of values the moisture content of the dry basis is greater than moisture content of wet basis and that is evident from the formula because in the dry basis moisture content the form in the formula in the denominator if you uh, look closely there is only md present over there and in the wet basis there is md plus mw so obviously the wet basis is going to be smaller for the same set of values i hope i am clear to you now here is another important point a lot of times in the questions in the problems the moisture content is given in terms of percentage but you cannot use that percentage directly into the formula if the percentage is given in the quotient you have to convert that percentage into fraction now that means if the percentage is 52 percent so that means you have to divide 52 by 100 and you will get 0.52 and you will have to use 0.52 in the formula you cannot use percentage in this formula of moisture content dry basis or moisture content wet basis the third important point that you need to keep in mind is that the dry basis moisture content can be greater than 100%. Now how is this possible? A lot of students uh, uh, really panic over the fact that sometimes they are getting dry basis moisture content greater than 100%. How is this possible? Let us take an example and try to justify this statement. For example, the amount of water is 70 kg and the amount of dry solids in the sample is 30 kg. Now if we calculate dry basis for this given set of values, uh, the formula of the dry basis is equal to mass of water in the sample divided by mass of dry solids in the sample. Now if we put the values, the values are uh, MW equal to 70 and MD equal to 30. Now if we divide this, we will get 233.33 percentage. Now obviously, 233.33 is greater than 100% and this is possible in the specific case, in the special case where the amount of water is greater than the amount of dry solids. So please keep in mind this important point. Now another important point is that if dry basis or wet basis moisture content is not specified in the question, for example, they have given 18% moisture content and they have not specified whether it is dry basis moisture content or whether it is wet basis moisture content. Then by default, you will take that moisture content as wet basis moisture content. So these were some of the important points. Now let us move on to the next topic and that is the relationship between dry basis moisture content and wet basis moisture content. Here we will try to find a relationship between dry basis moisture content and wet basis moisture content so that in case if in a question there is given that the dry basis moisture content is 18% and you have to calculate the wet basis you have to convert that into wet basis so that we can uh, do that easily using the help of this relationship. So earlier in the video I explained that the formula of wet basis moisture content is given as MW divided by MW plus MD that I explained earlier in this video. Now if we divide the numerator and denominator by MD, so that will be rewritten as MW by MD divided by MW by MD plus MD by MD. Now here MD and MD in the denominator cancels out and if you look closely, MW by MD is the formula is the value of dry basis moisture content. So what we can do here, we can substitute this by db and the formula can be rewritten as wb equal to db divided by db plus 1. So this is the relationship between wet basis moisture content and dry basis moisture content. And again if we try to write, rewrite this in terms of dry basis, we can rewrite this as dry basis moisture content equal to wb divided by 1 minus wb. So we can calculate wet basis if dry basis is given and we can calculate dry basis if wet basis is given but please do remember please do note that also in this relationship 
we do not use percentage directly we convert the percentage first into fraction for example 38 percent is given so we will convert 38 percent into fraction we will divide 38 percent we will divide 38 by 100 and we will obtain 0.38 so we will put 0.38 in this formula and not 38 percent so here are some of the quotients of the moisture content so that you can practice for yourself you can apply the formulas that i have told apply the important notes that i have told in this video please go through this again uh, go through this video again if you have not understood something clearly or you can comment down your doubts always in the video you can comment the answers of these questions down in the video i'll be really waiting for your comments so this was it for today let me know down in the comments if you have any kind of doubts i'll make sure that i reply to each one of you and please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already and make sure you have hit the bell icon as well give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful if you found this valuable and it takes a lot of efforts to create these kind of videos it takes a lot of patience so please appreciate by hitting the subscribe button and i'll see you next time class dismissed